According to the law, those giant radio and television towers have to have lights on them. I've always wondered, who's the guy who has to climb to the top and change the bulbs? William Singleton is one of those guys. He and his partner, Andy Graziosi, run United Tower Company. For the past 12 years, William has been climbing these giants. It was obvious that there was only one way to understand a tower climber's job. Go where he works. So we did to the top of an 1100 foot high television tower. There's no elevator to take you there. It just isn't an easy way. We started climbing a single ladder that headed straight up for close to a quarter of a mile. The strain on a man doing this day after day must be tremendous because for every step of that ladder you have to lift your own weight then multiply that by about a thousand steps. Thank goodness there's small platforms every hundred feet or so so a guy can catch his breath. There wasn't too much time to rest. We had to meet a camera crew and a helicopter at the top. How long does it usually take you to climb up this thing? Uh, somewhere in 45 minutes to an hour, something like that. So I slowed you down a little bit on the way up. I probably slowed you down. Do <laughs> you usually climb it during the daytime, or do you climb it at night? Well, if you don't have to go the full height on the antenna, you can climb it in the daytime. You have to work the antenna, you have to climb it at night. About what time at night? After 12 o'clock. It gets, gets lonesome. <laughs> it's not too bad. <laughs> the amazing thing to me is, after climbing this far, how can a guy think of working for hours and then climbing back down? What's the worst time to be on a tower? What was your worst experience? I guess in cold temperature and icy weather. Oh, just in, in cold weather, you get to climb and sometimes your hands get so numb, you have to warm them up on the beacon lights and things. What do you do when you have to work up there with your hands so cold? Just work. <laughs> That's all you can do. Why do you like to do this? We got the whole countryside spread out under us up here. Well, it's, I guess it's the view and you don't run across everybody up here trying to do it. It's a lot different. It's not the same old routine every day. It took close to two hours for us to climb to the top of an 1100 foot tower. It took about a half an hour to come down. Suddenly, all those muscles that had been lifting me every foot were now having to lower me. It is easier to come down, but not much. I've got to be honest. To me, that's no way to make a living. Folks, I'll do that for a story. But there's not enough money on the entire face of this earth to make me do this for a living. How often a week do you climb something like this? Well, it just depends on what work we got to do on you mean if they called you the, this afternoon and said the lights had gone back up on there on the top, you'd go back up and fix it? That's right. I have to. Now, friends, that's what I call dedication. <laughs> For Action News, I'm Andy Johnston.